Well, obviously, the window was broken from the outside. Like Rook always says, you can cut corners here and there, but there's nothing like a quality garbage can. Hmm. Looks like a key of some kind. A key? Ah, uh, quality 3D model. Whoever uses these garbage cans is either a terrible shot or is saving them for that special piece of trash. Like me. I'm a special piece hmm. of trash. It's one of those basketballs they used to I'm give away at Weenie World. Of garbage. Ten seconds left. Down by one. Murphy has the ball. He fakes. He drives. It's a 360. Hey. He's full. <laughs> Alright. Some cartoon bullshit. It's just trash. Look at radio. Whoa! This antique boombox worked. I bet it only play the Bee Gees. Cool. Let's play some Bee Gees. This old relic probably hasn't worked in years. Hey, there are batteries in here. Ah, oh, batteries. Wow, a recyclable paper can. Finally, a glimmer of ecological responsibility. I didn't know Rook cared. Wow, a recyclable paper can. Maybe get closer and look down. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Wow. Nope. There's literally nothing in there. <laughs> It's like they just took papers and shit from around their office. Yeah, probably. Oh, I would love to see my ex-mother-in-law squeeze through there. What does that mean? It means oh, she's fat. I would love to see my ex-mother. Ah. So, Murphy, have you come up with anything yet? Caustic yeah, wit. But I'll need another five or ten minutes to solve your case, Rook. You know, Murphy, I'm amazed that a gumshoe with a sarcastic mouth like yours can stay alive. One of these days, someone with no sense of humor is going to cut you in half. Macho humor. Yeah, and I'll still be twice the man you are, Rook. See you later. Oh, I can't ask him anything? Okay. When you prioritize being an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rusty's fun masks. We can't not go into that. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. It's all locked up. Uh, all I'm gonna get inside is by using my innate cleverness or ingenuity, or maybe a key. Oh. Maybe. this key well that's not gonna work nope maybe click click on the door handle well that's not gonna work no nope. okay some games are like that yeah okay uh let's see Coit tower was once a majestic landmark the wiener stand on the patio at the base of Koi Tower made the best chili dog in town. No one's here right now, though, so I better check back later. I can only assume that the, like, low frame rate is actually part of the game. Because... Yeah, probably. Like, this is running on DOSBox on a... pretty good computer. <laughs> Louis Laments runs the Brew and Stew, which is a local hangout. That newspaper on the ground looks interactable. Uh, 
Oh, that one? Yeah. Well, this is a section of the Bay City Mirror. It's a weekly newsletter that covers local goings-on written by mutants for mutants. I'd subscribe if they had a comics page. Uh... Zippy Cash. He was simply a practical joke played by his friends. Uh... Some kind of master criminal. He just hasn't left us much of anything to work with. Need cash? For fifty dollars for any and all vital organs. Don't forget to ask about our frequent donor program. <laughs> IQ to a taco, soft shell taco mine. What me meat art thou concealing? Who cares? It's tasty. Police officers acquitted of assault in civil civil suit. Well, what? What is this guy go? <laughs> What's this guy got going on here? <laughs> Emo Dooley. Well, at least the ACLU is still around. Yeah. Wow, 90s topical, uh, Grateful Dead stuff. Wow. Louis Laments runs the Brew and Stew, which is a local hangout. Uh, Brew and Stew is run by Louis Laments, a bloated mutant with a heart bigger than his waistline. Everyone comes to the Louis Cafe, so does all the street talk. If something's going on, Louie knows about it. What can I do for you, Mife? Suds and hugs? How about a pitcher of beer and the love of a good woman, Louie? I uh, can't help you with the woman, Mife. Yeah, no problem with the beer, though. Put it on your tab? Sure. I'll take a beer over women anyway. It's easier to stomach. Ah ha ha, casual Spoken misogyny. like a true philosopher, my <laughs> A cold beer is truly one of life's simpler pleasures. Uh... He's one of the few norms besides you who's eaten here. Seems like a typical cop, a little dim, and not too concerned about what happens in the mutant sections of town. Uh, let's see. Burglary. Rook's been robbed before, but he's never had anything really valuable taken. This is gonna set Rook back for a while. Too bad the cops have turned a blind eye. Granny's a fireball. She and Sal opened the pizza place seven or eight years ago, and they've been fighting ever since. Rook's an ornery old cuss, but me and him are old buddies. We fought in the big war together. He's one person you can trust in these troubled times. Chelsea acts tough, but she has to be with all the scum around. And she's as smart as she is pretty. She knows a lot of what goes on in the shadows of this city. Alright. 
pizza bar. I want to see if I have enough info for the crime computer. Eh. The controls are the main difficulty. Yeah. It seems. The dark souls of point-and-click adventure games. On the top yeah. floor of this place is where I hang my hat. I mean, it's not a it's not Sierra much, game, but it's so better it can't than... be that. Well, it's not much. Uh, okay, I only have that. Inside. But green eyes and size 14 shoe with anchor tattoo. Okay. I don't have enough. That's the door to the street. My trusty 31 lightning bolt speeder. I still regret not getting the sunroof option. Let's go down to the police station and talk to the guy who's investigating the break-in. Of course he's got a custom license plate. Yeah. I haven't seen Mac Malden since the Martian Memorandum case. I remember him as a surly, incompetent, fat-nosed cop. As I step into his office, I can see he's changed. His nose is even bigger. Well, if it isn't Tex Murphy. I figured you'd be dead by now. That is uh, a big old fake nose. Yeah. Good to see you too, man. You look great. That extra weight sure suits you. Still the wise guy, eh, Murphy? It was great to see you. Now get lost! Oh, come on. Remember the Martian Memorandum case? Hey, we made a swell team. Yeah, those were the days. I don't get cases like that anymore. Things are harder now. The mayor's office is all over me again. You heard about the string of pawn shop robberies? We have no suspects, and I'm catching the heat for it. Pride, which goeth before the fall. What you need is San Francisco's best detective on the case. Yeah, I asked him to help out, but he's busy. Now shove off! Oh. Can't you find something better to do than bother me? I don't mean to bother you, but I'm still stuck on this case. Sure you are. Probably a case of cheap scotch. Tell you what. Help me solve this case I'm working on and I'll buy you a scotch. And not the cheap stuff. Bribing a cop, eh, Murphy? Get out of here now and I might not bust you! Okay. Um. Well, well, it's that it's, handsome um, P.I. Tex Murphy. <laughs> Have you come to take me away? Huh? What? Um, it's worth talking to everybody about all... Topics. Okay. How'd you guess? You must have seen my white horse hitched to the railing out front. Oh my, Mr. Murphy, you certainly know how to excite a girl. Shatter the fantasy of a lonely woman. <laughs> okay, okay, look, I was only joking. <laughs> I came by to ask you some questions. Oh, 
Oh, all, all business and no pleasure makes even a private dick a dull boy. What do you want? Rook is a tough old geezer. I've known him ever since we opened the slice of heaven back in the 32, but I can't say I know him very well. Chelsea is a nicer girl. Sal tries to flirt with her, but she doesn't give him the time of day. I like a Louis. He runs a nicer place, and I go over there and chat with him when the business is slow. Well, I was hoping you'd get around to asking about me. I'm just a lonely, hot-blooded woman who needs the love of a good, strong man. Me and Sal got married too young, and it's been up and down ever since. I've had enough of his drinking and the womanizing, and I divorce him in a second, but he's got a couple of buddies who are top lawyers. If I had some hard evidence of his screwing around, I could divorce him and get a decent settlement. Ardo is an overgrown kid. He comes in here for the all-you-can-eat buffet, and I've got to kick him out every time. If I didn't, he'd eat everything we got. Can't help you, Tex. I heard that Rook's place got robbed. It scares me to death. There's so much crime in this part of the city. Sorry, I don't know anything about that. That's that religion for norms only? It makes me sick. Sorry. Ask me about something else. Okay. I don't think I got much information out of that. All hell has broken loose since the government stopped requiring products to display those give a who don't pollute symbols. Let's go to the electronic shop. This is the brand new electronic shop outlet. No pun intended. I won't be able to get inside the electronic shop until I get a membership card. Oh. You need a membership card? Weird. Credit card application. A pre approved electronic shop credit card application addressed to the previous occupant. Just needs to be signed, stamped, and mailed. Hmm. I feel like we missed something with Rook or in the alley. Maybe. Rook won't let me ask him about anything, but... Oh! Hi! Maybe we should ask him. Hello. Oh, looks like Mr. Bum is home for the evening. Yeah, what do you want? Bum camaraderie. Looks like you're busy drowning your troubles, my good man. Well, Mr. High and Mighty, what are you, a preacher or something? No, I'm just a man like you, who's been down on his luck. Look at me, I I'm crying. Now what is it you want? Uh, let's see, how about world peace, a new speeder, and a decent haircut? Is that really so much to ask? <laughs> You're quite a comedian. Why don't you take your act on the road? I feel like I'm messing up here. Oh, no. Not you again. Look, I'll warn you right now. I'm almost out of chocolate syrup, and I'm not in a good mood. You know, I just might have something that would improve your ugly mood. Is that so? Well, what? Oh, maybe I need some chocolate syrup. Where would I find chocolate syrup? Is that it? The empty bottles of chocolate syrup lying all around this alley all look like they've been licked clean. Empty. You licked clean as in like 
he crack them open and lick the insides? Yeah. Whoever uses these garbage cans is either a terrible shot or... What about up that ladder? Uh, I don't think I can get there. Yeah. 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 No, behind Well, that you. steep staircase looks really hard to climb. Actual ladder. I can do that. Oh. What ladder? Oh, no, that's not a ladder. That's a... That's a drain pipe. Yeah. The texture of the pavement surface is a cross between a spilled coke and sandstone. I, I do see those two pixels. Every time I see yellow-gray water oozing out of a gutter, I just can't help but thirst for a cup of coffee from the brew and stew. All right, we're gonna look real close. Ah, hold on. Uh. I like this image of him crawling around. <laughs> look at those pixels. There's nothing special about them. <laughs> okay. Just some yeah. errant pixels. He's just like crawling around with his nose on the pavement like a cartoon dog. Yeah. It does seem like something they might do. Hey, <laughs> this door's just painted on. <laughs> hey, this door's just painted on. And yet they still give you the open option, which gives you the same dialogue. That's that's actually pretty funny. Well, uh I don't think I can do anything else up here. They have you interact with two different things for one joke. Maybe go back to the um, diner and see if he has any... The baby rum wrapper looks like it was left recently. Yep, still warm. I don't usually enjoy piles of garbage, but they do add a lot of character to this alley. Alright, well... What else can I help you with, Murphy? Oh, I can finally ask him about things. I don't know anything about that. I don't know anything about that. Don't get me started. That movement is nothing but a hate machine. The civil war's on the horizon because we mutants can't sit around and take the discrimination anymore. Those crusading fools have started something too big to control. It makes me mad as hell that someone will break into the shop. I have a hard enough time. Why is this guy a fancy shopkeeper? I don't know. I don't know anything about that. Strikes me as a village idiot. He came by one time to see if I had any Inspector Burns action figures. I told him I'd never heard of these Burns characters and thought the kid was gonna tear my damn head off. Sounds a brute. Funny as hell, but it can get pretty bad after a couple of drinks. He and his wife, Franny, have a real love-hate thing. Makes me glad I never tied the knot. Sal leaves running the pizza joint up to Franny. Franny's a hot-blooded gal. She and her husband, Sal, wake up the neighborhood sometimes with their rows. Louie and I go way back. We ran guns to Ethiopia before World War III, then fought in the same regiment during the war. After the war, Louie opened the brew and stew and told me about this shop which I bought for a song, and then I started my own pawn business. She's a honey, ain't she? Makes me wish I was 30 years younger. She knows the black market and has helped me make some <coughs> connections. Uh, maybe I could ask Louie about chocolate. Louie Laments runs the brewery. 
what can I get you? Uh, chocolate. You want to try a slice of my chocolate pie? I can get you a piece to go if you like. Oh, there we go. I like this guy's three frames of animation. Yeah. Oh, looks like Mr. Bum is home for the evening. This isn't a good time for a social call, punk. If I don't get it fixed soon, I'll go insane! Dory me pops a lot to do! <laughs> what was that? I don't, I don't make know. a practice of helping out addicts, but I think I've got something that will ease the pain. Oh, hold out on me, man. If you've got something, let's have it. Uh, this. Praise heaven! You brought the ambrosia of life. Ask me anything you want. All right. Now I can ask about burglary. I saw someone prowling around the back of the pawn shop last night. It was so dark, I didn't get a good look at him, but I could tell he was huge. Probably 6'3 or 6'4, about 300 pounds. Okay. More information. Brook, he leaves me alone. Can't ask for more than that. The only time I ever see Sal is when he gets drunk and comes by to pick a fight. Then I kick his butt and send him on his way. That big goon. He used to hassle me until I shared a quart of chocolate syrup with him. Now he lets me alone. On the top floor of this place is where I hang my hat. Oh, I can't go in the hotel. Not that hotel, the big one at the end of the street. Oh, this one. Ardo Newpop is a gigantic goon who works at the front desk at the Golden Gate Motel. Ardo's no rocket scientist. In fact, he probably doesn't even know what a rocket scientist is. Boob tube hobnobbing. Anything good on the tube today? Uh-huh. I'm watching the Captain Wallaby show, and he's so funny. Captain Wallaby, your favorite show? It's my third favorite show. My favorite is the Inspector Burns Fire Safety Show. Uh, name dropping fib. You know, Ardo, Inspector Burns and I are really good friends. You are? Wow! I'd do anything to meet Inspector Burns. Lie shamelessly. If you'll answer some of my questions, I might bring Inspector Burns in to meet you. Would you like that? Okay. I can answer some questions, but first I have to put on my fire hat because Inspector Burns' fire safety show is going to be on pretty soon. Alley Cat Blues.